Hey guys, uh, Mel from Mel's Craft and Crystals, just doing another journal from my collection of themes. Um, this one is Alchemy. May not look like that on the front. Um, actually really enjoyed doing this one and then I had the idea of doing another one of these um, with all black paper. So I'm hoping to get stuck into that one in the next couple of weeks. Um, which I think would be really cool with black or black paper and like a white gel pen or a gel marker because I have these ones but these are more like texture texture type markers so more for drawing and sketching um, but I want to get like a gel pen so you can actually write on the black paper um, this one's five signatures fabric cover with bit of light distressing it's actually um curtain fabric I think so it's pretty thick and it had the like the the vinyl type backing on the other side and just a blue um, chiffon maybe I don't know I don't think it'd be chiffon some sort of blue blue fabric we'll call it that a whole heap of ephemera little tag some papers alchemy can go a few different ways whether it's like chemistry but I feel like that's a separate thing altogether and anatomy um, I see alchemy as more Actually, I don't know really. Astronomy would be part of it, or astrology. But this was with the Stamperia, Stamperia Alchemy um, set, the eight by eight, which I feel like it's my favorite because it's minimal cutting when it comes to fitting them into the books that I fit them into. Although I really do like using 12 by 12. If I've got a nice big book with nice big covers, I will definitely get the 12 by 12s. Have a little book. But yeah, the alchemy is pretty, pretty cool. I got a lot of mini things in this one from like who, what, when, where. Sorry, camera again. Some little tags, heaps of like little minis. I've got to I think I've got to add some more stamps to this one. More paper. I've had a pretty good day today, weather wise, so I was able to um, stain some more of my I use the A3 paper so when I want to do my big A4 journals and I've been running out I've had to um, decline a couple of custom orders because I just I literally don't have the paper I have a lot of A4 like for this one I use A4 and then you you fold it so that that's always easy to do um, but yeah, I'm trying to get my stockpile of A3 paper up and running so I can do my big grimoires, which they're kind of like my fave. I love doing them. They just, they're so much fun. They're so much fun to do. Don't get me wrong, these are fun too. I love doing these ones. These are the Reader's Digest condensed books. And so there's minimal um, effort that you have to do in terms of putting the signatures into the shape like five signatures is great for for these condensed books you could fit more but I they're kind of like 0.5 um sorry yeah five mil apart so you could fit more um I prefer not to I feel like it's a bit squished but five is great if you have more paper in it you could do three and have them really thick like thick signatures 
I think if I went down that way, I'd probably do the three, the three whole pamphlet stitch because the thicker the signature, it's more like, it's more at risk of coming apart. I think if, um, if they're too thick. And these are just pictures out of like a scientific magazine, scientific, American scientific or scientific America, whichever one. And then just on like a piece of paper or cardstock. And that's how I kind of make it look like a specimen, like a specimen tag. Um, I have heaps of them and I get them for free. So. little flip pages flip book this one's an actual vintage postcard from boathouse and schools of shoot shrewsbury i actually got a set of them for 20 dollars from an antique store along the way if you go out to rural new south wales and go through all the small towns if there is a small antique shop or an op shop go to it because you're likely to find I found a 1982 stamp book which was really cool but yeah the Shrewsbury he had heaps I didn't have enough money <laughs> I will definitely be going back that was at a small town called Coolamon we have another small town very very small not far from me I still haven't had a chance to make the trips called Ganmain they're famous for Ganmain pies out here in the Riverina um, maybe Metro places have heard of them, Sydney and Melbourne, I'm not sure. They have won a fair few awards for Gamay Pies. Um, but they have a very, very old town. Um, and they have a huge, huge antique shop with vintage wares. And I messaged them recently because they open a little bit more now on weekends for any falling apart antique books and he said yes so I'm like oh I think I need to go there and this will be available um, in my Etsy store soon if I get a chance to list it. Anyway, bye for now. Thanks for watching.